Okay, what you're going to see is going to kind of shock you folks. Now basically I've got both of them sitting pretty much side by side. Stereo head and stereo behind H12. Now we're going to go down and play the movie. Well, basically it's a conglomeration of... And basically I screwed up because I should have played the... the uh, I will be able to find the link in the future too. And I had a little movie of the uh, head side. Okay, we're at behind here. And then over here we're at ahead. We're at ace. And I had a movie of this here. Basically, it looked like smoke, you know. So basically, the atmosphere of Venus has got toasted, okay. Because I'm going to be able to show you this movie real fast that they uh, basically... I'll have this open up. I don't know if I'm the only person that's getting blocked from Sechi or not. And as you see here in the small... The sun is always bright on this side, okay? So what they did is they turned it and zoomed in, okay? Now remember, this is behind, and I showed you back up the video a little bit, and I'll be going back there too in a second, okay? And this is, I'm tapping everywhere, and basically it's just basically what it ends up being is two shots. And then they flip the satellite or the lens, whichever what they can do, and they zoomed in. Because let me show you what it always looks like, and, we, and you know that from watching my videos, that... Put the make fire up, and we'll show you where the light side's at, where you can always kind of tell that basically the sun should be over, or whatever is bright, you know, and it's usually always the sun. The starlight's on this side, so the sun's over here, you see? Now, this is what you would normally get from behind, but they turned around and zoomed in and looked at it, and I'll go back to the, you're on, we're on behind, okay, we're not at ace, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to plop it over here, and you're going to see the C. We're still at behind, and then they zoomed in on that blotch down there, okay? Because basically, either this is that comet, a part of something to do with it, or whatever's going on, but it's, see, this should be close to the sun. The sun's over here, you see. It's still the sun over here because the idea that you see the sunlight's shining on here and it's shining on this side on all the stuff. Let me put the magnifier up so you can see what I'm talking about. You see how the sunlight is all on this side? So the sun's over here. Okay, so then that's on the back side. So what the hell is it that's all black? Something to do with some kind of alter power force because the idea that it's electrical magnetical we know that okay and then basically the only thing that more than likely know of is this should be pretty much mercury right here and then that should be venus so is venus on fire right now that it gets smoke owed now it's not really on fire but it's smoldering something's up either that or it's part of to do with something with that daggone comet because what i'll do is pop back real fast you're basically seeing partially the turnaround, but you remember, that, like I said, we sh I showed you where they turned the satellite around on behind to take a look at that, okay? It's basically this here, okay? So, they turned around and zoomed in on it here from way behind, on behind, and then there's the head side shot there. And there's B behind over here, and they turned it around to look at it and zoomed in on it. Now, when I go up on this video here, this basically is not a video. Uh, get rid of the magnifier for a second. Well, I might end up using it, so. But you see, you can see Venus. That should be Venus. But you see Mercury and whatever. You see? So is that the head of the comet? Now there is one also interesting looking thing that's kind of roundish in here if they blued it out or blacked it out and I'll pop up well actually I don't have to because I can do is I can do all higher I can go 999 or I'll go 777 and see what we got here but it's this really should just be the star cluster that's backed by uh, the right hand side of the sun because this is off of B, though, so basically this would be on the left hand of the sun if you were looking uh, to the right. Because, see, this is shooting back towards Earth. 
Earth's got to be somewhere, could be somewhere in this shot if they do some kind of adjustment, you know. Uh, this could be Earth there, possibly, way the hell off. This should be Venus. So basically, kind of, somewhat, this should be Mercury there. And if there is anything, and I come down, you see, so... But above, so basically, this could be Earth over this way, possibly, maybe. But I really kind of doubt that. But then again, we did see Mercury in the shots not too long ago, so it could be somewhat of an angle. That could be Earth over here. Way the heck over there. Now, no matter what, this is up on the right-hand side of the sun. From B, I mean, basically, if you're looking from Earth, that should be left-hand side of it. When you're looking east, that should be left. So this stuff would all be on the left-hand side because satellites back here are shooting that way towards Earth and Venus and Mercury and getting it caught there on the right-hand side. So it's shooting all the way across and zooming in like I showed you down on the bottom shot, okay? So you just look around in here at 777 and try to find and decide what the hell possibly they could be blueing out. It's somewhat maybe there or something or something farther down here that they're trying to block out that's that big black blotch or is it just basically the backside of Venus? So something's up. Some atmosphere has blacked out or there's something that's came in like we've and it's starting to bug us, bug me because yeah, they're not letting us into Sechi to see the movies. I snuck in last night, and got some footage. They went in early. They went in and worked early. I don't know if it's because the holiday, but they were working Sunday night in Germany or whatever. Okay, so because no matter what, we have this stuff right there, big back and ugly, and we still got this here too. It's in between, and this should be the backside of Venus right there. No matter what, there's some stuff that's, and I've seen smoldering, okay? Basically, some kind of resonance was coming off of this right here. And I've got a video I can play on that later. Because basically what it is, is just, there. the videos are always shots put together, okay? And I had a shot put together that basically, now I don't know if you can see down here, but there's dates and time. And I don't know if they're getting some kind of electrical interference, but this is what I was getting for pictures when I went and took some shots down. Okay. So they may be getting some electrical interference. We've got something going on up there, and it's electrical. Okay. It's in space, and it's electrical. There's something going on. So uh, blue background there, and then basically I can pump this up to try to see what we got for a date and time down here. So 1902... 1900 hours, two minutes, and that looks to be whatever date you're going to be able to see it better than me. Maybe 2012, 12, and it's hard to really kind of tell what date we got there. So, and then this was basically can we read if it's behind or whatever? Behind. Stereo behind H1. So I took the links down, and then you can see there, and you know, you're going to see objects. The sunlight's on this side, and then you kind of have that dark object right there, and some other dark objects too. So, but then again, the, the degradation is hard to tell. So now I can go ahead and uh, here's one of the shots that I had. And I've got all these shots, so it's just me sorting through them. I should have been a little bit neater of putting the, them away to be able to give you. But as you see here, I ended up with some that ended up with this resignation of something like this all over the place. So it's almost like it got fried or something, maybe Venus or something for a little while. And that shot was from ahead, and most of these would be. And this is pretty much it. And then I'll have a couple more that are going to be not much different, but... You can see some grayness coming off here, and it ended up being like a smoky looking field up here on the right hand side. So, as you can see, this little resignation of this grayness up there, it gave me the idea that it's like something you know, burning or something smoking. So, electrical, it's almost like something got electrically fried. And it might be the atmosphere of Venus, I'm not sure. Backside of it, something. And no matter what, we still got that right there. Okay.
and with that big darkness there, so you can see that this is huge, and it's got a bright side to it, and it ain't got no magnetical to it, really. It does look on the top that it's starting to get a magnetical, though, you see? So this could be something huge that's, that's new to the neighborhood or something like that, because you can see this. This should be Venus, and this should be Mercury, and this is what we were seeing before that didn't have any magnetical. So this is what I'm beginning to believe that we have coming into view on the right-hand side of the sun is this here object there. Okay? So, let me pop up again real fast to like uh, 400 on this. And you'll realize that basically, we come down on this. You see, I'm really beginning to think that this is something coming in from behind the sun i.e. the other video that basically I showed you we found stuff that was coming in from behind the sun okay so now the last one was at, at 1347.21 but see this is the one that is really an incriminator because this is the one that basically has got the smoky as you can see the smoky detail to it and everything like that so and it's no ink ink getting smeared or anything like that and As you can see, it's pretty smoky looking, isn't it? So, and I'll be able to look at the times here now too and be able to try to pick up a different shot here. But it's all interaction between whatever the heck is with this and this could be a triangulation as you see two dark sides there and a dark side here on this. And this is what we're saying that I'm showing you right here with your eyeballs that this is showing up to have a magnetical to it. And there's other features, too, that have made me think that we can see the comet going around in here, too, but I'm not really stating on that right now. Kind of weird to have something like that. I've never seen the pixels too much with that there like that, but no matter what, at this time on, on the ace ahead, on this one here, that there was plenty of magneticals along here on the other ones that I was showing you, too, and then but we got this here. It's very distinct. It just looks like a big old cloud right here. So I got a feeling it's still going eight poop. But at the same time, on the front side, you see what I'm saying about being all smoky here and everything like that? So, uh, but the most important thing is to remember that looking over, and they can always colorization over, so you don't really, you know. You just very rarely get to see something. Now, to me, this is, seems to be unusual, that area right there. And then you have to go back and watch my video to see where on the core shot that we got, where it was whatever it was looking like it was coming in at. Okay, no matter what, I'll pump this up in size. Uh, remember, you can turn this one, flip it up, because the idea that this magnetical would be up high and then that should be Venus so this is the blackness that we're seeing on the back side of it and then this possibly could be Earth right there and that's Mercury probably and they zoomed in big time and this should be the star cluster I see way up on the right hand side you know, but definitely right now I'm not getting anything on stereo A ahead to look at this here cluster here, but this should be the what I was showing you on the Navy Lasco, but I'm not getting any Navy footage and I can't get into Sechi. Can't get into my Lasco. So basically no matter what, and I've already showed you the movie on that. So that's what you got for right now. Wondering and waiting to see the old footage and then hopefully they won't uh, blacken anything over and if it's big and bright like we were seeing before on it the red background, they shouldn't be able to hide anything, we should be able to see it, so... And this should have been earlier, before it's got smoky, and yeah, 9... 0900, 0947, 27 seconds. So this is when it kind of started doing whatever it was doing. And then as you can see that, uh, they started zooming in and getting a little bit of a look, and you see the front side of Venus right there. So I can zoom in on that a little bit so you can see that that's pretty much got to be flipping Venus. Okay, you see the bright front side? And this should be Mercury. 
along that magnetical there. And this is what's very interesting. 